How's it going guys, Tatsumi here back again for another showcase video, and today we're here to officially showcase Kimono Melum. The last unit of the slime collab has about to give a boost for the monolite new teams. This unit is a beast, maybe some of you don't like her kid, but she really does her job, she will sustain light nukes. So if you really want her and haven't get her yet, I hope you can get her very soon. Because this unit as you guys gonna see in this video, she is really really good, especially if you have Satama sitting in your box. This unit will boost your Satama's light damage, and to be honest she is the missing piece for Monolite Nuke, so if you have Satama I recommend you to pull her. And let's talk about this unit. This will be the order of today's video. First, through her profile. Abilities and skill. Arts and true arts. Item build and crest. Team comp and game plays. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope you do, just click the subscribe button and turn the notification bell for more videos like this in the future. Okay, without being said let's start. Kimono Milam. Kimono Milam is a light element unit and belong to Demon Race main role attacker. And she has three passive abilities. First passive. Magic resistance level 2. Magic damage from the enemy 10% down. And arts gauge master level 5. All allies arts gauge 50 up when quest starts only once. This passive effect is similar to dark fen and forte. And her unique passive ability. Innocence. All allies attack 40% up for the first 60 second of quest only once. This passive is really good for nukes, but the only problem of this passive is that it's not even showing an icon in the unit stats. So we really don't know if this working or not. There's might be at least a icon mark appear, but no. So I don't know if this working or not. Moving on through her skill. It deals 2000% light physical damage. And increases own attack by 10% for 7 seconds. Nothing special, but it give another attack buff, so it's also good. Her arts. Hanatsuki health. Deals 18,000% light physical damage, it increases own accuracy by 20%, and damage by 60% for 20 seconds. This is not necessary to activate in nuking, but if you're running to a quest with a lot of stage like 6 to 7 stages, then it's good to use, and it has 20 seconds duration so yeah. If you need more damage buff then use it. And her true arts. Super big Remoru kite. Deals 65,000% light physical damage and it reduces enemies' light resistance by 50% for 12 seconds. This is insane buff specially for light units, and also has a high damage. This is also make her good in mono light team. If you're building a light nuke team she will always have the spot. Cuz man, that 50% light resistance reduction you will deal a lot of damage. So let's go through his item build. She has a 5 star physical, 5 star magic, and a 4 star support. Remember, her kit is for nuking battles, so let's make a nuke build for her. Actually, she's not that hard to build, cause she is only just good at nuking battles, so, if you have an item that can boost you and your allies damage then you're good, but I'm still going to show you my item builds. There are different builds, and it all depends on what enemy you're going to nuke. To her physical slot, I always use Rag's gem, it increase all allies arts damage by 50%, and you can replace with a Knuckly X if you have, it's a good nuking equipment, and I also use this Geno's vest. It increases own damage by 30%, and all allies physical damage by 20% for 10 seconds, and a bonus of 70 arts gauge for the first time use. You can also use Remora's sword, but I don't usually use, cause it only benefits own, so I prefer to using AoE buff. Her magic item, you can use the Milam's kimono, luckily I managed to get this item in the step up banner, it increases your light damage, so it's only good for light unit, but you can replace it with dark fan true weapon if you have, or Karama's whip, it increases damage to the enemy by 20%, and if the enemy poisoned by this equipment adds more 20%. To her 4 star item, I use Terra Conjunction for the 100% crit buff to all allies, and this Sonic Scarf increase own crit rate by 100%, but if the enemy negates critical damage, I use Arts Gen equipment, like this Dark White Spear, it's 3 star item it increase all arts gauge by 20, and has a high CT, only good for nuke, and this Ryud Magus, same effect but it deals 3600% damage or anything that can boost your allies damage works just fine, for example Hijikata's clothes or sorcerer's robe. So yeah that is my build for her. And for her crest. I recommend attack up and the slime crest Herculean strength. 
and for the team comp, I always use Sanji and Satama with her, and for the fourth slot I use Mako, not for the art damage buff, but for the 30% damage to the enemy, and you can replace it with Daki for the 100% ignore defense, and it also increase all light units damage by 60%, and Sestina, she's not a light unit, but she will buff Milam's physical damage, and Satama as well, so, that is my team comp I usually use for nuking bosses in Crest Palace. And I recorded some of my games for you guys to watch. With all that being said guys, I'm going to leave you guys for the rest of the clip, against the subject trance, glittering dragon defense, and dungeon of trials floor 22, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. That's it for now, thanks for watching, and see you guys again very soon. Later.